So if you follow this full video till the end, it's gonna look like this. It's pretty cool, right? Bonjour, bonjour, Shopify store owners. All right, so you wanna add currency to your store. We're gonna do that in this video together, you and I, with a little bit of your time invested. Watch this full video, a little bit of elbow grease. The first thing we're going to do is we're gonna click on online store right here. So we're in the back end, online store. Um, and we're going to create a duplicate of the theme that we're going to be working on. So we're going to click action right here. We're going to click duplicate. Why do we do that? Because we're going to be messing in the code and it's always a good idea to create a backup version and to mess on the backup version instead of the real version. Meanwhile, let me show you that I'm not going to bamboozle you. There is no currency switcher right now. All right, so now that we have done that, we can go in here to actions and we can go to edit code. At the end of the video, I'll give you the full codes that you can just copy paste. Just watch it entirely. That way you understand the concept, you understand what you have to do for your team. And then afterwards you can, you know, replay the video and copy paste it and do the code along. Seriously, it's gonna take you like five minutes. It's gonna save you a couple of hundred bucks. We're gonna go right here in the code editor. Uh, we're gonna go to the sections and we're gonna look for the header. Where is the header? Right here, header.liquid. Don't forget, it's in the sections, header.liquid. If you're for some reason using a theme that doesn't have header.liquid, you can also do this in the theme.liquid. All right, so in the code base, so in the code base, there's three different options that I clearly outlined. We're gonna use the last one just because I have a preference for it. All right, so once we have found the header.liquid, we can actually paste this snippet of code wherever we want. We just have to make sure it doesn't interfere with the buy button. I like to do it close to the account, um, when if you have accounts, of course. So for that, we're gonna do Command F on a Mac, Control F on Windows, Command F, account. See right here, this is the um, the accounts section. So if a customer has an account, the little login is gonna show up. We made a whole video about all of that as well. Um, but I'm gonna hit enter a couple of times right above that, and I'm going to paste our little piece of code here. And that's going to show a currency switcher next to our account button. So the currency switcher will arrive right here. Again, you can play around so that it somewhere else uh, for you. You can paste this code anywhere on this page, really, and kind of try it out. We hit save. And then once that's saved, you have multiple different options here on how you want the button to react. We're going to choose the last option in the file that I will give you at the end of this video. And for that, we're going to go to assets right here. We're going to go to theme.js. We're going to go all the way down. Hit enter a couple of times and we're going to be pasting that. So I basically did, maybe I went a bit too fast here. I went paste and then we save this. All right, so once you hit save on all of that, we can go to online store right here um, and we can go click actions, preview, see if it's indeed working. And here we go, we have the Canadian dollar that's there. Now I'm gonna show you how to add different currencies um, to add to the list. For that, we're going to have to go to our online store to settings, and we're going to have to click on uh, payments. And then once you save, you have the full breakdown like here. And then once we know that our currency converter works on the second team, all we have to do is click action. We have to publish. It's gonna ask us if you're sure you wanna put this team live. Yes, I am sure. All the codes are below in the description. If you like and subscribe this video, you're gonna have a whole bunch of other free tutorials on how to grow your Shopify store. It's gonna save you a lot of money. Frankly, I think this subscribing is the best return on your investment you can possibly do for a Shopify store owner. Thanks a lot. See you in another video. Bye.